Hey, what's going on YouTube? It is Mad Hatter with another Mad Hatter TV. Hope all is going well in your life. Do you like my hat? Of course you do. Anyway, I hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving and I hope you guys got a lot of shopping done on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. I know I did. I got a couple things. I got like a sushi kit, a TV, and video games, and um, I have a couple other things coming in the mail. And I just got to say that this whole month of November has been nothing but drama. It has been unbelievable. Um, I actually had a girlfriend, and that had to be the shortest relationship I have ever had. And I think it only lasts about, what, two days? Yeah. Um, it's not good when two bipolar people get in a relationship. Yeah, that's not good. Um, and it's also not good when everybody loves the same girl that you like, and they're also your friends. So, yeah. Um, I didn't really think about those things at the time. I was kind of in lust. Um, yeah, lust, not love. It's totally different. Um, but I'm good. We left on some pretty good terms, I would say. But uh, other than that, I have been busy. My new album is available for digital download right now. It will be in stores very soon, but right now it's only digital download. It is DJ Miss Infinite Power, and you could guys, you guys can check that out at my uh, Bandcamp website, djmyth.bandcamp.com. A link will be below in the description box for you guys to check that out. And um, I have to say that. I'm normally a very nice person. I am a philanthropist. I love to help people. And today, my buttons have gotten pushed to the brink of insanity because I'm on Facebook and, you know, I'm in the public eye. I'm a radio DJ. That's what I do. I, I talk to people. Um, I talk to kids and everything. And I... Friendly. I have to be. I'm radio DJ and model and acting. That's I have to be that. And so I'm just naturally that anyway. So, okay. But anyway, so a 13-year-old boy, he finds me on Facebook and he likes my music. So he's like, okay, I like your music. I want to talk to you, blah, blah, blah. And he wants to know if he can get into how to get into the business in acting, modeling, and all of that good stuff that I do. And so I'm like, okay, well, I can't guarantee that you're going to be extremely popular, but I can say that I will give you the same resources that I have. And that's what I did. And, you know, um, it was just me back and forth trying to help him. And then his mom or aunt or relative, whatever, comes over here to my Facebook page and says, well, I don't want you talking to my... Um, son or relative or whatever because he's only a 13 year old boy and I don't want you guys um, having some kind of sexual relationship or whatever and uh, if you don't stop talking to him I will call the police and you'll be considered a registered sex offender I'm like whoa whoa hold up whoa there you know and <laughs> I had to take it to the brink of insanity because I have never been so offended in my life. Um, I have morals, I have dignity, and I don't ever do things like that. I got taught the right way, and come on, I know not to touch little kids like that. I know not to have any sexual relations with any kid or anything. That, that's not me. I don't do that. That's disgusting. Come on, people that are like that need some serious help, serious mental help, and they need to get beat with a freaking bat wrapped around with some barbed wire. But that's not me. Okay? So, I was a little upset, but then I thought to myself, you know what? I'm not going to get upset because I know who I am and only God can judge me. So, I clearly told the woman, look, I was trying to help your relative out with trying to make it into the industry and everything like that. If you don't want me to talk, about, talk to him and help him out, fine. Blocked her and the boy I was talking to about trying to help him out. And done deal. Okay? I'm not going to be sitting there and going back and forth, back and forth, trying to prove my point. Because I know who I am. And one thing is, 
if you have a 13 year old on freaking Facebook, they shouldn't even be on Facebook in the first place. And if you have a problem with the kid talking to people that are older than, than the boy or anything like that, and you suspect some sexual relations or anything with your boy, and that sounds like a personal problem, and you probably shouldn't even be on the internet in the first place. So blame yourself and your own parenting that you ain't got your junk right. Am I right? Can I get a hallelujah and an amen? Okay? So, um, yeah, it kind of riled me up a little bit, but I'm all good. But, um, drama. <laughs> Just serious drama. I had to deal with another case where, you know, I go in the chat room every night. Uh, shout out to Be Yourself, Bad Breed, Akatsuki, and all of those good chat rooms that I hang out around. Um, if you guys want to know more information about that, Hit me up on my Facebook page, description box below. I'm getting back on topic. Um, I had a case where this guy just obnoxious. I don't like obnoxious people, and it irks me to death. And the people that just won't get the picture, and the people that just keep going on and on and on and on. And I'm just like, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. And they just don't get it. And so, you know, I've been working on my anger. But, once you tip the little glass over, that's it. I'm on like a stick of dynamite. I just go. And I can't stop it. So, I'm sorry. And so, that's what happened. And now, the crazy fool just keeps repeatedly coming back and coming back and coming back. And messaging, and messaging, and talking BS, and talking more BS. And I'm just like, okay, you know what? You're going to rile the inner ghetto in me, because I try to be professional, I try to be nice, but you're going to spark this little inner ghetto that I have, and it's just going to unleash like a beast, son. But, to sum it all up, I have been okay. So, I know I haven't been making these videos as consistently as I have said I was, but I did want to talk to you guys about this because there's so much going on. But I love you guys as always, and I think that is it for now, I think. But I love you guys. Peace, love, unity, respect. I'm out.